Hi, do you need to take screenshots on your Raspberry Pi? In this video, I'll show you the neat tool that comes with the OS and how you can make it easier to use. Let's start by pressing the print screen button on your keyboard. When you do that, uh, the tool will take a screenshot of the entire screen. Any screenshot that it takes gets saved to your home directory and it's named uh, based off of the date and time that you took it. So, let me go ahead and go open up File Manager. And here we go, this is the image. So I can double click. And here, you can see this is a screenshot of everything. So let me close that and press Q to close. And let me tell you now about the tool. The tool that's taking the screenshot is called SCROT. Now, if you try to Google that, it might auto-complete something that you're not interested in. So let me just say it stands for screenshot. This tool is a command line tool, which means that you can open up a terminal and run it from there and you can give it additional options, which will change how it behaves. Let's see that in action. I will open up the terminal and I'll bring it up to the top and I will make it a lot bigger, the text. So I'll do the zoom in, which is shift control plus. I'll press that a bunch of times. There we go. I think that's good. Now again, I said the tool is S-C-R-O-T. So let's go ahead and type that, S-C-R-O-T. And once I do, you can see there, there's another image that just got created. I double click that and you can see it is again, the entire screen. Now you can see down here, it says PNG image. PNG is a great format for taking screenshots. So that's good. Now let's talk about the other ways that you can call SCROT. So there is an option that you can use that at, once you submit the command, you can use your mouse to draw a border around the area that you want to take a capture of. So let's go ahead and run that now. Again, we start with SCROT and then this time with a space and dash dash select. So when I press enter, nothing appears to happen, but as you can see, uh, it hasn't gone back to the prompt yet. It's waiting for us to draw that area. So I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag to capture this area right here. Once I let go, we get another image to our home directory. I'll open that up. You can see there it is. That's the section I chose and looks like it's working great. Now the last option I want to show you is the focused mode where it'll take a screenshot of the window that is currently active. Let me go ahead and type that in now. So again, S-C-R-O-T space dash dash. And this time the word focused. I'll press enter. You see it took a screenshot right away. And if we look at it, we'll see it's a screenshot of the terminal, which uh, unless you wanted that, that's, that's not very helpful. So there is another option that you can provide that gives you a bit of a time delay. So you have a few seconds to switch over to the window that you actually want to take the screenshot for. All right, so I'll just press the up arrow now to repeat that and then add dash dash delay equals, and let's say five, five seconds. Okay, so I'll press enter, and then I'll select our file manager here. Wait a few more seconds. Okay, there we go. So if I open this now, it should be file manager. Great. So there you go. Those are the three different ways that you can run the tool to get different screenshots. But it's a bit of a pain, isn't it? Like. Uh, I really enjoy using the terminal, but I wouldn't want to have to go in there every time and type in a bunch of commands with options just to get screenshots. So thankfully, there is a way that you can make this a whole lot easier, although the way to do it um, is, is a bit cumbersome. But let's talk about that now. So if you remember from the very beginning, uh, we had seen that you can use the print screen button on your keyboard to get a screenshot. How that works is that Raspberry Pi has a special configuration file. 
And this file contains many things, among them different keyboard shortcuts that are assigned to specific actions. So for example, the print screen button is assigned to the SCROT command without any options. So all we have to do is find that configuration file, uh, make a copy of it with our changes, and then we will be able to do these other things without having to actually type the commands into a terminal. So let's do that now. So the file we're looking for is stored. So you start by going to the root folder and then you go into Etsy. Oh, and by the way, I will have this in the show notes. So you don't have to try to remember all these different paths and, and file names, but we're going to browse to it now. So slash Etsy and then XDG and then open box. And here, this is the file here, lxde-pi-rc.xml. Now I'll right click on this and I will choose to open it in this program called Genie, which um, has nice color coding when it opens up a file, an XML file like this, it'll make it easier for us to work with. Okay, I'm gonna maximize this and I will increase the size of the font. That's control plus, let's do that a bit more, control plus. Okay. Now, the first thing to notice is that at the very top of this file, there's a warning. It says, do not edit this file. It will be overwritten on install. Copy the file to dollar sign home slash dot config slash open box slash instead. So obviously we don't want all of our hard work to be replaced. So let's go ahead and follow those instructions now. I am going to go to File, Save As. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring this down a little bit so I can see the instructions it gave. Here we go. Uh, so it says to stick it in. So dollar sign home is just our home folder. So I can start by clicking on home here. And then we're supposed to put it into dot config, which is right there. And uh, if you don't see that, then what you can do is uh, right click in this empty space here and check this option, show hidden files, because the dot in front of the config means makes it a hidden file. So you normally are not able to see it. Okay, so we'll go into dot config. And then from there, uh, we're supposed to go into open box, but there is no open box here. So at this point, we can click on this button here to create it. And I will type in open box and hit enter. Okay, so there it is. Oh, and now, okay, we almost had it. So now we're in the right location, but it has changed the name on us. So now I will have to uh, name it again. So that's lxde-pi-rc.xml and hit save. Okay, so now we have our file saved. So it's the same file name, but now it's in our home folder in that location. So let's go ahead and find that command tied to the print screen. So we know that it ran the SCROT tool. So let's press Control F to open up the find dialog and type SCROT, press enter. And there it is. So I'll close that. And let me just select this. Okay, so you can see here, these lines here, this is what makes the magic happen. So what is this doing? So first thing you can see is that it's binding to print, which we can assume is the print screen button. And from there, it has an action, which is to execute something. And it's executing a command, which is SCROT. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a copy of these lines and we're going to, uh, with that copy, we're gonna make changes to it. So with one copy, it will be the, uh, the command where it'll allow us to use our mouse to do a selection for the area we want to take a screenshot of. And then for the other copy, the one where it takes a screenshot of the active window. Okay, so I'm gonna use my keyboard and I will select these lines. I'll press Control C and then Control V 
and do it a couple more times. Okay, so in there. Now I have my two copies of the those entries. How to do this part, you need to know um, how to specify the different key combinations you want for this to work. I'm going to share um, a link with you later uh, that'll give you all of that information. For right now, I know that I want to assign uh, shift print screen to the mouse selection mode and alt print screen for the active window. So for shift, I know it's the capital S dash and then the button you want to press. So that's saying on pressing shift and the print screen, then we're going to execute. And what are we going to execute? Well, it's the command we learned about before, which is SCROT dash dash select. Okay, so that one's done. Now here's the next one. So again, we already have print. Now we just need to add the alt key modifier, which is capital A. So A dash print, there we go. And again, it's executing and this time SCROT space dash dash focused. Now, in the last thing that we did in this terminal, we had to say focus and then delay five, but that's because we ran it in the terminal and then we had to take that five seconds to switch over to uh, the active window we want to, to take a screenshot of. We don't need to worry about the delay when we do it this way. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now we just need to save this file. So I can click here to save. And then for all of this to work, we have to log out and log back in. So I am going to do that now and we'll resume the video once uh, we're back in. Okay, so back in a minute. Hey, and we're back. So I just logged back in. So let's open up a few things. I'm going to open up our file manager and uh, you know what? I'll just go ahead and delete these screenshots. Don't need them now. And now it's time to test. So test number one, make sure the print screen still works. So I'll go ahead and hit print screen. Okay, and there we go. There's that file and it's the entire screen as expected. Great. Okay, now I will try the first custom one we created, which was holding down on the shift key and print screen. And then now I should be able to draw a box. I'll draw a box right here of this garbage can. That looked like it worked. And yes, it did. Okay. And finally, for the last one, I will just keep the file manager selected, hold alt print screen. And there it is. All right. Yep. There it is looking good. All right. So there you have it. The SCROT tool, how you can use it and how you can configure Raspberry Pi so that you can uh, get those different ways of taking screenshots without having to type the command in with all those options. So I hope you liked that. If you did, please do give this a like and subscribe so you can see more content when it comes. Thanks and bye now.